Now see, now we start doing exercise 4.1. Hmm? See, first sum of this exercise is the cost of notebook is twice the cost of a pen. Okay? Cost of notebook is twice the cost of a pen. Write the linear equation in two variables to represent this statement. So, we are concerned with cost of notebook and cost of pen. Okay? So, take cost of notebook to be rupees x and that of pen is rupees y. Okay? Cost of notebook is rupees x and cost of pen is rupees y. So, cost of notebook is given as two times the cost of pen. So, I can write the equation x is to y. Clear? This is the relation between the cost of notebook and pen. I get it in a standard form. So, I can write x minus 2y is 0. Clear? So, this represent linear equation. Okay? I consider let cost of notebook is x and cost of pen is y, rupees y. Then cost of notebook is twice the cost of pen. So I can write x is equal to 2y. So x minus 2y is 0. So here a is 1, b is minus 2 and c is 0. Clear? It is just general form of linear equation. Clear? Now second sum. You are asked to express the following linear equation in a form ax plus by plus c is 0 and indicate the values of a, b and c in each case. First equation I will take. Okay, there are 8 equations. First equation is 2x plus 3y is 9.35 ke upar bar. So, first I get everything on same side. I should get it in a form ax plus by plus c is 0. Okay? Now, I can write here a is 2, b is 3 and c is 9.35 per bar. Clear? Recurring. Decimal. See, 9.35 bar or seed minus 9.35 bar, minus 9.35 bar, okay? Second question is, x minus y by 5 minus 10 is 0. It is in a standard form. So here, a is 1, b is minus 1 by 5 and c is minus 10. Clear? It is in a standard form, general form, okay? Third question. It is minus 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. So, I write it as minus 2x plus 3y minus 6 is 0. This is in a general form, okay? Now, after getting it is in a general form, I should write down a, b and c. So, I write here a is minus 2, b is 3 and c is minus 6. I can change the sign also. This equation can be written as 2x minus 3y plus 6 is 0 also. Then in that case, a is 2, b is minus 3 and c is 6. Both way it is correct. Okay. Some children write in the above form. Some children write the form given in just below the first form. Okay. Now fourth question is x is equal to 3y. It is not in a general form. I write x minus 3y is 0. Here a is 1, B is minus 3 and C is 0. Clear? Fifth question they have given is 
2x is equal to minus 5y. I get it in a general form. 2x minus 5y side jayega to plus 5 is 0. Clear? So here now it is in a standard form. A is 2, B is 5, C is 0. Clear? Sixth question. 3x plus 2 is 0. 3x plus 2 is 0. So it can be written as 3x plus 0 into y plus 2 is 0. So here a is 3 coefficient of y that is b is 0 and c is 2. Clear? Seven question is y minus 2 is 0. Okay? So general form is 0 into x plus 1 into y minus 2 is 0. So here, coefficient of x a is 0, coefficient of y b is 1, and constant term is minus 2. Clear? Eight question. 5 minus 2x, or 5 is equal to 2x. So I can write it as 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. Wo side le gai mein, to 2x plus 0 into y minus 5 is 0. So a is 2, b is 0, c is minus 5. Clear? I can write some more also. Suppose I am doing some extra sum. Ninth is, suppose x minus 4 is equal to root 3 y. Root 3 y. तो मैं इसको equation को क्या करूँगी? x minus root 3 y minus 4 is 0. So here, a is 1, b is minus root 3 and c is minus 4. You should bring everything on same side. And then you have to decide the value of a, b and c. Clear? Clear? Now, there is another sum. I am writing extra sum for you. Third sum, I am writing, it is given in an illustration. Write each of the following as an equation in two variable. Write each of the following as an equation in two variable as an equation in two variable कोई भी equation को एक variable में है तो भी इसको two variable में कैसे लिखने का first I am giving you y is 2 तो इसको कैसे equation in two variable आप लिखोगे बोलो आप लिखोगे 0 into x plus 1 into y minus 2 is 0, right? So here, क्या लिखो गया आप? A is 0, B is 1, C is minus 2, right? Clear? Second, 5Y is 2. तो आप कैसे लिखो गे? 0 into X plus 5 into Y, ये 2 वो साइड से साइड ले आओगे, minus 2 is 0. So here, a 0, B is 5, C is minus 2. Both equations are linear equation in one variable. But we express them as a linear equation in two variable. Clear? Third sum is given as 2x is equal to 3. All equations are equation in one variable. I write them as a equation in two variable. 2x plus term containing y is missing, so 0 y. Clear? So here a is 2, b is 0 and c is minus 3. Clear? Same way for sum. It is 1 half x hmm, plus y hmm, is equal to 0. Hmm, implies 1 half x plus y plus 0 is 0. So, what is here? A is 1 half, 
means 1 and C 0 like that ok so this is a way how to express linear equation in one variable into linear equation in two variable ok